Hey, what's up you guys? It's Premier Gal here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I make new video production and editing tutorials every week to help you create better video content faster. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the Instagram story on-screen text look inside of Adobe After Effects. So this includes on-screen captions, the hashtag, and the geolocation. And the reason why this is important, let's say a client hires you to make a short Instagram ad, you can then use these techniques to make it look like it's a native Instagram story instead of an ad. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, you guys, so I'm inside of Adobe After Effects CC 2017. And as you see here in my composition, I have the three final texts, the San Francisco geolocation, the hashtag Premier Gal, both of which have the the Instagram gradient look, right? And then also the caption text that says, yes, let's do this. So those three te um, texts I actually have on sale inside of my store, premiergal.com slash store. So if you don't want to have to be bothered to learn how to do this and you just want to grab these templates and then begin your video project, you can go there and check it out. Um, so to get started, I'm just going to start from scratch here. So we're just going to create a new composition. And I'm gonna make it a width of 1,000 by 300, okay? And I'm gonna call this hashtag text. This is gonna be the text. We're gonna start with the hashtag, basically. So I'm gonna create a new composition. And for the hashtag text, specifically, we use um, Bebas New Light. Now, this isn't the actual font that they use, but it's close enough. So. I'm just going to choose the light version of that. Um, also, I want to let you know that there's a link to this font in the description box if you do not have it. So I'm just going to click over here and type hashtag Premier Gal. And to um, center it, I'm going to go over here to the align and use these vertical center alignment and the horizontal, horizontal center alignment. And you're going to notice that I have this icon turned on to make it a little bit thicker. If I turn it off, you can see it's a lot lighter. So make sure that that's turned on to get a little bit more thickness. Okay. We can make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it 150. Okay. Let's recenter that. Now to get the gradient look, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. You're going to right click, go to new adjustment layer. And then we're going to go over to effects and presets. If you do not have this, go up to window and go to effects and presets. And you're going to search for four color gradient. So you can type it in there. I already have it open. I'm just going to drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. And you can see that it added a gradient with these default colors. So we want to change that. I went ahead and went to um, color.adobe.com. So if you have a Creative Cloud account, you can create um, a library color palette. And I created an Instagram color palette just for the orange and the pinks for the hashtag. So if I go ahead and select this dropper, I can then select the color that I want from this palette. So you can see that it's now that orange color. I'm going to select that, go to the salmon color, then select more of this other orange, another type of salmon color. And then I'm going to select this sort of magenta color. And you can see that there's four points here. These represent each color. So the first one is color one here. Um, that's color one is point one. And then over here is color two, point two, and then color three, and then color four. So you can move these in and you can see that this is color three. So it will make it more of this sort of salmon-y color. If I bring it in, you can also bring in this one to bring in more of the sort of yellow color and you can sort of play around with this until you get a good effect. But I think that looks pretty good, don't you think? So we have that done. Now we need to create the background. So we can't just create a shape layer here because if I create a shape layer, see what happens. If I create a new rounded rectangle here, um, you just select rounded rectangle tool and it creates a nice rounded shape. You will see that when I bring it beneath, the adjustment layer is also applied to the rectangle, which is why we need to create a separate composition and then pre-compose the hashtag text or nest it inside of the new background composition. So I'm going to delete that shape layer and then I'm going to go back to project and I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call it hashtag background 
And now I'm going to go back up to the rounded rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and create a new rectangle. And I want it to be white, so I'm going to change the fill color to white, okay? I can use the alignment tools here to center it. And now I'm just going to drag the hashtag text comp from the project panel and drop it down above the shape layer. And now you can see that we have our hashtag text. And if you click on this alpha toggle transparency grid, you will see that there's now an alpha background, which means it's transparent. So we can then use this title that we just created in Premiere Pro on top of video and it'll look like it doesn't have any other background. It's just transparent, right? So let's go ahead and create the geolocation style. So let's create another composition. We're gonna call this geolocation text, like so. And I'm just going to go to the type tool and type out, let's say San Francisco, my hometown. And let's go ahead and make this black so you can see it better. And let's go ahead and align it and center it up. So that's our text, okay? Now we're going to add an adjustment layer. Go to new, adjustment layer, and I'm going to go back over to effects and presets and drag the four color gradient on to the adjustment layer. And I didn't create a color palette for the blues and the violets that are in this gradient, so I'm just gonna guesstimate. And you can do this too if you don't have a color palette. If you click on any color, you can then use this sort of cursor to find a new color choice. So let's make one a little bit more violet-y here, like so. Um, let's make color two more like a darker blue color. And let's make color three, let's say a little bit darker violet, like so. Um, and let's change this blue color maybe to more of a violet-y color. like that. So that looks pretty good. So again, just play around with it until it looks good. Now we're going to create another composition for the geolocation background. New composition. Geolocation background. We're going to keep the width and the height the same. Hit OK. And now I'm just going to go up to the rounded rectangle tool and just free draw a rounded rectangle like so. And align it up so it's centered. And now I'm just going to drag the geolocation text on top of this shape layer. Now, the only thing missing is that little geolocation icon that you see on Instagram stories when you attach this layer onto your video. And so I went to vectz.com and I got this free vector and I just changed the color to be purple. I'm just gonna drag this PNG file on top and I'm just going to hit S and you can see that you can now use these parameters to scale it down like so. And then I'm just going to use the arrow selection tool and bring this over like so. And that means that I need to shift over, this means I need to shift over the text a bit, right? Or actually, I'm just gonna bring this over a bit. And now you can see I need to make the shape layer bigger. So I'm gonna just extend that out a bit and shift it over because I want the distance from the O to the N to be the same as the distance from the geolocation to the end on the left. So that way it looks pretty equal. Fantastic. And then I'm just gonna click and select all the layers and then I'm just going to drag it so it'll be centered onto the composition. So that's how you do the geolocation tag, which is pretty neat. Now we're just gonna do the standard caption, which is a different font, and you don't need to make two compositions for this, only one, because there's no gradient. So I'm gonna right click and go to new composition, and I'm gonna call this caption text. I'm gonna make this a little bit higher here. I'm gonna do 500 and hit okay. Now I'm just going to type out some new text. Um, what I had before was, yes, let's do this. So it's a different font. I actually used Helvetica to sort of replicate that. So just type over here in Fonts Helvetica and I would choose bold. And you can deselect this to not make it as bold, okay? Make that capital again, great. Now let's just select the text and let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it like 120, great. 
Now let's center it up, alignment here. Now I have this text left oriented. So if you want this to be centered, you can use the center text, but I like it left oriented. Great. So now let's go ahead and draw out some shape layers here because the shape layer for Instagram, it's wrapped directly to text, right? So we're gonna go to rounded rectangle tool. Just gonna select that like so, great. And then I'm going to go down here into the comp, hit Command C and then hit Command V to duplicate it. I'm gonna drag this down so we have two, right? And then I need to make this bigger so I have to extend it out a bit and then move it over and then realign it, great. Now I'm going to bring the text above the shape layers. Now we can see it and now you can see there's a little bit more adjustments we need to make like maybe make this a little bit smaller here. You can use the arrow tools to do more minute movements. So I'm just sort of aligning this so it looks a bit better. But yeah, that's the basic idea. If I turn off the alpha transparency, you can see it better. If you wanted to change the color of the shape layers, you can do that too. Just click on the shape layer and go up to fill and choose a new color. So now let's say that you have a uh, Instagram story a sequence inside of Premiere Pro and you want to use these um, text layers, right? And you want to drag them a motorcycle going on out there. So let's say that you, so you may be wondering um, why I'm doing this in After Effects. Well, in Premiere Pro, they don't have a rounded rectangle tool, unfortunately. Hopefully they'll have that in the future, but right now you have to design it inside of after Effects, and then you can pull the comps into Premiere Pro. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Inside of Premiere Pro, I have a sequence here that is 1080 by 1920, which is the sequence aspect ratio for Instagram stories. I'm gonna pull open the project panel here, and then in After Effects, I'm just gonna drag the compositions over. I'm gonna just move this window over, and I'm going to drag and drop geolocation background in the project panel, the hashtag background, as well as the caption text. And now you will see that I have three dynamically linked compositions inside of Premiere Pro. So I can just drag and drop these into my timeline here, and you can see that they are now here. So if you decide to purchase this template for my Premiere Gal store, you would do the exact same thing as this. You would tweak anything in After Effects and you would pull the compositions into Premiere Pro and then you would just drag these into the sequence like I did and to adjust the location just go up to Effects Controls and move this down if you want using the position um, and here I can move this up and for the hashtag for the hashtag I can then center it down and I could play around with this a little bit, but you guys get the idea, right? So that's how you recreate Instagram text um, inside of After Effects and then put them in Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. You can also hit that notification bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And if you guys want to help me out, you can go to patreon.com slash premiergal and become a super fan, which is $5 or more per month. And you can get new video editing templates delivered to your inbox at the beginning of every month. So I will see you guys very soon. Thanks again. Bye.